Hi, hello. Today I'm gonna show you how to sketch a face. Now the measurements I'm using is just a rule of thumb for my art style. It's not like a strict rule or anything, so keep that in mind. First off, circle. Doesn't have to be perfect. The only one who can draw perfect circle is SpongeBob. And then draw a vertical line in the middle. And then draw another line around the height of the circle. It's fine if it's a bit longer. Alright, let's start with the eyes. First, draw a line in the middle. This will be the middle of the eyes. Now, roughly the circles with, with this word, I cannot speak English apparently, is around 5 eyes. Draw one in the middle and then draw the rest. We only need these two circles, but if you want to keep the middle one for a distance indicator, feel free to do so. But for now, I'm going to erase most of the circles so it's not too messy. The eyes doesn't have to be almond shaped, and if it's not really in the middle like mine, that's okay too. Just make sure the corners are in the same line. Next, eyebrows. First, divide this section in half, and then divide the lower part in half again. This line will be the top of the eyebrows. But it also depends on the expression you want to draw. Let's move on to nose. Divide this section in half and make a line. This will be the bottom of the nose. The size of the nose is around the distance between the eyes. And I only draw these four lines for the nose. I don't like sketching the nose too detailed. For mouth, divide this lower section into half. Yeah, we're basically just cutting lines into halves at this point. This will be the middle of the mouth. The width is around this much. But of course, feel free to make it a bit wider or smaller. I usually draw the mouth like mountains or a very flat M. By the way, the more detailed tutorials for each face parts can be found in my playlist. Now we can actually draw the head, starting with the chin. You might think it's placed here, but no, the space is too small. He will have like half chin. So I'm gonna add another line, like around this much. Now add this line only if the chin is too small, like this. If it looks okay, you don't have to add this extra line. Before actually drawing the chin, I'll draw the side of the face first, from around here down to the mouth line, and then connect it to make the chin. Afterwards, we can draw the ears. The height is from the eyes to the nose. Now let's draw the hairline. Draw it around here so there's some space for his forehead. Now make the side of the face longer and draw the cranium. Cranium is this part right here where the brain is. We want to make sure the drawing have brain, so don't make the cranium too flat. Draw it around here. Alright, so this is the measurements I'm using. You can screenshot it for practice. But wait, we're not done yet. We're going to draw cleaner sketch because this sketch is messy af and also let's give him hair create a new layer and this is optional but you can also pick different color and i'm gonna switch to this brush by the way the brushes i'm using are in the description well it's actually just these two but anyway the good thing about drawing cleaner sketch is that you can spot your mistakes in the previous one and redraw it you can also draw details like eyelashes to beautify it and it's easier to line art because it's so clean to draw the hair leave some space above the cranium so the hair is not flat i don't usually draw this much detail because it will be hell to paint over but i'm not planning to paint this sketch so i'll add some shading maybe a little bit of gloss on the lip and also blush. He's shy. Now, the moment we all dread. Flip horizontal. Yep. Luckily for digital art, there's liquify to rescue. If you're drawing on paper, let's just hope nobody flips your drawing for whatever reason. Alright, now let's do three quarter view. As always, start with circle and determine where your character is facing. If they're facing that way, the vertical line will follow. The same goes for horizontal line. If your character's looking up, the line will follow. Alright, now draw the line and divide in half. Before we draw the eyes, draw an oval around here for the temple. The eye measurements for three quarter view is different because of the perspective. This side of the face will have smaller eye, and the shape is usually more angular than the other eye. Eyebrow still using the same measurements as before. Now, the nose is different. Instead of making it as wide as the eye distance, we're using the eyebrows so it's not too large. Draw a tiny line here, and I'll draw the nose bridge a bit curved, but you can draw it straight if you want. And draw the nostril, divide again in half, and draw the mouth. Okay, for chin measurement, I don't add another line like in previous one because it's 
It looks like crimson chin, so I'm just gonna use this line here, but first, let's draw the ear. And in 3 quarter view, you can actually see the cheekbone, so let's add it here. Make a line from the eyebrow, make a curve for the cheekbone, and continue down until the chin line. To draw the jaw, make a line from the chin to the mouth, and then connect it to the ear. Okay, the ear is too far, hold on. Alright, now just draw the hairline and cranium for brain. Okay, I know it's really messy, but that's why we draw a cleaner sketch on top of this. And I'll just draw the same hairstyle as before. This is like the easiest hairstyle I know. Okay, draw another circle. This time we're drawing side view. Draw the line almost to the edge of the circle. Wait, circles don't have edges. Eh, you know what I mean. Alright, about side view eye, it's not as long as the front view one. See, it looks weird. Right? Side view eye looks more like a cone because we are looking at it at different angle. Alright, let's add that to our circle. Okay, for nose, still using the same measurement and then draw the line diagonally. Now make a small angle here. This is to define the nose bridge. And then draw the nostril. Now for the mouth, draw the line here like before, and then cut this in half for the upper lip, and cut the bottom part for the lower lip. The lower lip is usually more rounded than the upper one. Add another line for the curve of the chin. Now divide the circle in half, cut it in half again, and draw the ear. Let's connect it to the chin to make the jaw. I like side view portrait, you just have to draw one of everything. As always, draw hairline. And don't forget to make space for the forehead, and then draw the cranium. It's fine if it doesn't align with the first circle. I forgot to mention, the mouth is not very wide from this angle. Like, around half the eye should do it. If at any stage you feel like something is a bit off, like this ear is a little small, feel free to make adjustments. This is not a strict guideline or anything. And after you're already used to the measurements, you can just eyeball the proportion. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!